Hi everyone, welcome back to Gold Fries. You know this rig. If you search for Cooler Master NR200B, you will find this. It is one of my favorite builds so far, but unfortunately, when I published a video of this build, it was shortly after Gamers Nexus video about the AIO placement. And this, uh, you see the comments like this. I'm showing you a few on screen. There's even more from Facebook, of which I'm not going to scroll back something like nine months ago just to capture the comments but generally the people think that the AIO is gonna die but this is not the case it's been nine months or so now it was published around end of August and well we are in May it is it's not dead yet and last I tested there's barely any degradation of performance so why is this so you just have to understand the loop. Now, the thing is, Gamers Nexus, after they published the video, they did a follow-up video, which both of the videos are great, actually. I watched the first one and I understood. And I don't, people just are just not understanding it correctly. What baffled me is that the follow-up video has far less views. It's like all of them are interested in the first one, but the follow-up video that explains so many things are just pretty much ignored. Look at the view difference. It's so huge. I'll let Jay do the talking. If you have not seen Jay's video, I'll put the link around. And this is what he said. You know what you're doing wrong? Not comprehending the content that Steve spent a lot of time and a lot of effort to educate you with that you were too ignorant to watch the entire video and don't even understand what the hell it is you're trying to share the information about. He did a fantastic job of explaining the physics behind this. The problem is his audience Many of them did a terrible job at actually comprehending what they were look what they were looking at here. So yes, I echo the same sentiment as Jay. He published that video in December because there were too many uh, just nonsense attacks on any build that has a placement like this. So Jay did did a great job in shortening and making it easier to understand. So basically, a rig like this will survive simply because the this uh, CPU block or coal plate or whatever you call it there has a, there's a pump inside and in this case as in mine you see that the pump is not at the highest point so even though the pump is above the radiator it is able to function well still because it is still submerged under the liquid this is not the case if you happen to orientate the uh, the pump in such a way that it is at the highest point you will hear sloshing sound and yes it will degrade the pump's performance and it will eventually die all right so why am i doing this video it's because i need to dismantle this guy as much as i love this build i actually wanted to hold on to it for a long time at least for one year and then also i can make this this is a video i intended to make it for for a while actually because Gamers Nexus, while they did good, uh, provide good information, it wasn't a proper test. I know there's another video I want to show you. It's from Paul's Hardware, where his uh, friend actually had a unit that died. I believe that's a Fantex casing where the pump is really at the top and it will die off soon if it's uh, placed at the highest, like uh, what every one of us has already mentioned. But this is not at the highest point, so it's fine. And there, there are also uh, AIOs. Like if you remember my Geek G1SE review, I used the NZXD Kraken M22. The pump is on the radiator instead of the CPU block, or you want to call it a coal plate. Well, on those setup, you can actually put the radiator at the bottom, but not at the top. It's vice versa. And then there's the Be Quiet Pure Loop series, where the pump is on the tube. So bear in mind all this, um, the location of the pump of your AIO before you place in any builds. So back to what I'm saying, yes, I need to dismantle this build sooner than I wanted to because I totally did not expect us to face this uh, parts shortage thing this badly. When it was set up, it was Q3 2020 and things were a bit shaky, but literally I did not expect it to become as bad as now. It's so difficult to get components Prices of graphics cards are really high. Uh, components are so scarce. Even if, if you ask brands, 
it's uh, very unlikely you get any unless you're so lucky to that they have in storage so yep bye bye little white one however you will be seeing something coming of course being me being me there's always a build coming around the corner and if you see me not publishing anything well that means i'm working on something on the, uh, in the background all right so that's it for this video hope this one also shed some light on how a system can be because yeah all this aio thing let's uh, get it off and move on understand that as long as the pump is on not on the highest point of the loop it's all good that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to my channel if you haven't and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Coming soon on Go Fries. After a long hunt, I finally got this card and I can't wait to show you guys what it can do and what I am going to do with it.